How's it going, lads? Phil Potter here, and welcome to the 21st episode of Road to a Better Bollocks FC. Now, it's actually been quite a while since we last uploaded an episode of this. The 1st of September is when we last uploaded. Now, that's mental. I have had other things in between that, uh, like uh, my FIFA Street montage, which went down absolutely class, so I love you for that. But uh, we start off this episode with a lovely little delicious goal from James McLean. Look at this. Oh my god, that's his bad foot as well. I was kind of like, holy mother of Jesus, rub me nipples, silly, you uh, mental bastard. He should be called James McDirty, not James McLean. <laughs> oh, fucking hell, what a way to start off an episode of this in true Bollocks Brigade style, laughing at my own shit jokes. Uh, but um, yeah, now what I have been doing re recently is I've actually got a brace. Uh, for my teeth, for my front teeth, just the upper, my upper front teeth, because they're just a little bit crooked. Now, I'm not wearing it at the moment. I can actually take it out. It's called an in-man aligner, if any of you are interested, I don't know. But um, I can take it out for eating and brushing my teeth. And obviously, I'm going to take it out for commentaries, because if I wore it for commentaries, I'm telling you, people would hate it. Uh, like, I can't speak properly with it in. I've got, I can't say S. S's, I can't say T's, I can't say D's, I can't say N's, you know, any of those letters that you need the top of your mouth for, uh, you know, for your tongue to touch the top of your mouth, I'm fucked. Uh, <laughs> so I will do my outro with it in, just so you can hear what I'm like, and you, trust me, you would not want to listen to me for eight and a half minutes trying to talk like that. Plus, I'd be dribbling all over the place as well. Uh, and also, I haven't uploaded an episode of this because I just haven't been playing FIFA 13 at all, really, which is... It's, it's a bit disappointing. It's kind of just fizzled out of my interests. You know what I mean? That's a nice way to put it. I like that. Uh, well done, Mark. Thanks, man. Uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm just seeing all these FIFA 14 videos from all the lads who went to the EA event just makes me want to play FIFA 14. And the demo is out tomorrow, I believe. So I will be making a FIFA 14 compilation. But what I do want to know is, would you like to see a best of Road to a Better Bollocks FC? So I could, I could work on that before FIFA 13, the full game is out. And you know, if you've got any m moments that you remember well that you really enjoyed then leave them in the comments because i'd be interested to see what you have enjoyed because i have actually worked my bollocks off for some of this series not all of it uh, but <laughs> no, i have like put a lot of effort into this and uh, i'm not sure everyone has been around the whole time to see that but anyway uh, this game was Wes Hoolan's game, to, well, his first half. Look at that for a finish. He was controlling the midfield, and then when he'd scooped the, the keeper first time, I wanted to wank myself silly, you know yourself. And it's just, it's what we do here. Uh, <laughs> but straight away, we can see it to make it one-all. And that just pissed me off, because I was all over him. Uh, so it was a bit frustrating, but what can you do? We have Robbie Keane. Look at this man, 88 shooting. Unfortunately, I, w I haven't scored a long shot with him yet, but if I do, I I will be sure to let you know now this is a kind of situation as a striker i was a striker in real life and it's a pain in the arse to have too much time to think about it's a thing people say and it is true if you've got too much time to think about what what you're going to do you you've, you're more likely to fuck it up and it's the same for fifa because i nearly made a tit of myself there but anyway martin tyler let us hear you baby sweaty time sweaty time is right aiden mcgeady with the dirty little finish now that was just to you know seal the deal so to speak you know get that extra goal so we don't concede any 90 minute bullshit uh, but anyway who gives a shit about that I'm sure you forgive me uh, <laughs> we go up against this guy anyway with 3-4-1-2 uh, for team you know Premier League team it doesn't overly worry me when I see it but uh, maybe it should have fucking worried me because Richard Kyo here and it is Kyo not Kyo as the lads on Sky Sports say uh, like Andy Kyo no it's Kyo uh, that's how you pronounce it. But anyway, my keeper must have lost his eyes, right? Because Robin Van Persie and Tevez just scored, just shot from anywhere, and the keeper was hopeless. But, uh, you know, when you go 2 down, you need to do something. Sweaty time. You need to do sweaty time. Thank you, Martin Tyler. Jesus Christ would just stop interrupting me at this stage. <laughs> no, I'm only messing. Uh, but anyway, lovely bit of football here. And this second half was mental because we were all over this guy, and we just could not score. I've said it plenty of times before, but uh, we could not score in a barrel of fannies in this this kind of situation here and uh, it's true this is true 100% true uh, but a lovely little ball in here from Glenn Whelan and unfortunately Joe Hart makes the save we hit it straight at him fuck's sake Darren Gibson you mad thing uh, but look at this we're just all over him that wasn't the greatest of chances the keeper had that pretty easily but this here pisses me off. Anthony Stokes, absolute beautiful bit of work here uh, with the drag back thing. <laughs> His outside the boot shot. You know when they hit it outside the boot, it goes a little bit higher than usual. So it went a little bit higher than usual and it hit the fucking crossbar. <laughs> uh, but we do eventually get a goal, but it's not really 
you know, it's not really enough. You know, it makes it too well. We're, I think we still can win Division 1, though. And the situation we're here, four points, six games. That means we've got 18 points to still get, but we need to win the rest of our games. That's the situation we're in here. And we buy a St. Etienne jersey and an FC Groningen jersey. I hope I pronounced that right. But the St. Etienne one was the important one because it's got the green jersey, the white shorts, and the green socks. That's, you know, very Irish, you know. But we come against... Oh, <coughs> Jesus. We come up against uh, Serie A side... Uh, looks decent enough, 4 and 2 and 2 but this game, well, nothing really happened in the first half, this was the, the highlight of the first half, and once again I was just testing out Robbie Keane's 88 shooting but look at these half time stats, absolutely mental, you don't get more even than that that is crazy, even our shot accuracy was the exact same um, but anyway, this guy basically two over the top through balls killed me uh, there's the first one and literally two seconds later I had gone all out attack and then everyone just fucked off from defence and uh, he got scores a nice little ding finish so unfortunately we do lose that one 2-0 uh, but this this is fucking bullshit I thought we would have scored here Aiden McGee nice little ball in here but his keeper is better than Anthony Stokes, basically. Uh, so we do lose that 2-0, which means we cannot win Division 1. And here is this is something I really wanted to do with this team. I'm wondering, should I just continue and fit more games into an episode and just win Division 1? Because it'd be a nice way to finish, you know. But we come up against this guy. I wanted to play one more game because I was so frustrated after those few games. And uh, this, the start of this game, was absolutely ridiculous. I've never been all over someone so much in my life without scoring a goal. <laughs> like... This is absolutely ridiculous. Just have a look. Just sit back and relax and just look at the highlights of this at, in the first, like, it's like the first 20 minutes of this game. I don't think I've had as, as much chances in my life. Like, I think it came up with five minutes into the game. You've had six shots and stuff, you know. It was absolutely crazy. But a lovely bit of work here from Aiden White. And uh, unfortunately, I should have just passed. I should have been sweaty, but I didn't want to. Uh, and Aiden McGee, you know, that was just a bit, you know, ambitious, we'll say. <clears throat> but Aiden McGee, you know, he was quite the player in this game, but he could not score, for fuck's sake. Uh, <laughs> and it, it was just getting a little bit ridiculous. I was kind of going, you know what, I know I'm going to lose this game. After starting so well, I just felt shit, you know. Uh, but here we go, Aiden McGee, little dink over the keeper. Oh, he hits the post as well. Fucking hell, that's absolutely crazy. But you'll never guess what. The next highlight was a goal for him. Uh, <laughs> and, you know, Martin Tyler, give us a hand here. Sweaty time. Thank you. Jesus Christ. Can you believe it? But uh, we do get a very lucky penalty here. Now, the luck of the Irish finally kicked in in this game because, let's be honest, I wasn't having any luck up till then. And we do score the penalty. But straight away, and I mean literally from tip, he went down and scored another little sweaty goal. But uh, we won't have Martin Tyler in here for that. I'm fed up of him. Uh, <laughs> but Matlock scores his second, unfortunately. Now, Robbie Keane, this is a lovely little bit of play from Robbie. And he uses his shooting to full effect. Beautiful stuff, Robbie, a little legend. Uh, and Shay Long breaks through. Now, I nearly made a tit of this. Look at that. How lucky is that? That is not what I meant to do at all. Uh, <laughs> but I will take it. We win 3-2. Now, this is just a lovely bit of work from uh, Wes Hill. And if I had scored from this in the end, it would have been beautiful. This is like something you see daily on FIFA Rally's channel. Like, he's just ridiculous. But um, unfortunately, we do not score with a Wes Hill in there. It just bobbles out of play. Now, this is where I'm going to do my outro with my brace in. So give me one second. Thanks for watching, lads. Phil Paulo here. <laughs> I hope you feel sorry for me and leave a like. <laughs> uh, yeah, so thanks for watching, lads. And as you can tell, if I talk like this for eight and a half minutes, you would have hated me. Okay, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. But uh, anyway, yeah, here is our successful attempt at uh, at the celebration. Now, this is actually, this is the sexy part. This is the, the raunchy part. And I know you're going to feel quite horny after this. So look at that. Oh, baby. Now, here's a little replay.